um, final year project uh, presentation. This is my um, my um, PDF of my project book that I will be reading through. I'm just talking about all the concepts in it. So my project statement is, uh, this project aims to teach young adults how to care properly for their pets in an interactive way. So table of contents, so we have the project overview, the key influences, the project process, and all the things that went into the project, conclusion, and some references for some of the key influences. So project overview, my project centers around the theme of people and caring for their pets young and old pets. Um, I chose this topic as the basis for my project because I felt like it was an area that could be served well by a digital media project and I thought it was important to raise awareness about this project or this area in this project. So initially I wanted it to be a game where people would complete relevant tasks like towards caring for new pets so like picking up food, picking up bedding and all that. The more I uh, thought about and prototype and semester one, the more I realised it wasn't really going to work that great, so I changed to an interactive website where people could actually learn about the um, about, um, proper pet care. So the project ends up, with, ends up with the creation of a website complete with an instruction design module that I try to implement, implement the presses to, to the best of my ability. And my uh, branding colour scheme allow logo and interactive elements such as quiz to help young people learn about pet care. This so project was the website that was built in Dreamweaver and uses HTML, CSS and some JavaScript to build the website from scratch. It is designed to um, work both desktop and mobile and is laid out and optimised for both and the logo was done using Adobe Illustrator. So key influences, the key influences are Google material design and the Swiss international type type graphic style graphics design style as well. These two influences mainly influence the look, design and feel of the website and are major factors in allowing you to create quality uh, quality web experience to look modern and functional. So Google material design it's um best described as a design language installed created by Google. It's mainly used for applications that are run on Android. Um, all Android apps have to adhere to Google Material Design guidelines, um, which relate to typography, layout, and style. And the Swiss typographic style was invented in the 1950s and it's known for its symmetrical layers and minimalist design and colour palette. I like the minimalist, minim, minimalist design a lot, so that's why I thought this would work well as the design style to model my website off. So the project process started with um, deciding colour palettes, then look, deciding a logo and then designing the website itself, all of which used this colour palette to um, as the basis even for the entire project. So first, first of all I had five um, colour palettes that I um, thought would um, Work well, so there was monochrome blue, monochrome green with some grey in it, then there was monochrome purple, and then there was two analogous um, colour schemes one with red and one without red. So, my final choice was the blue um, colour scheme because blue obviously it means trust, calm, and peace in colour psychology. So, it's like, and the main thing I wanted to do was to make sure people could trust my. Um, website and the information on it so that's why I picked the colour blue. But then I am um, started thinking about a logo and what I wanted this logo to be so obviously I used the, the colour palette I'd selected to drop some logos. I did five logos with them um, just one colour and I did five logos with them um, using all five colours in various different positions to see which they looked best. So the final choice was the um, light blue or a light blue logo, single colour logo because I felt it worked on any of the backgrounds and I think that is the best way forward for this. So the same decision for the logo, like, so I always wanted a paw in it because cats and dogs have paws so it felt like the obvious 
thing was to create a path and use this in the logo. So next I focused on typography and I created um, six pairings with uh, Futura because Futura is the font that I really like and I wanted to use it so I thought okay I wanted to figure out which six fonts looked the best with it and then decide one font to go completely with it and these are the six I chose I'll talk briefly about um, pairings one to three here why I chose them so obviously I chose these three because they were serif fonts and then um, future is a serif font or a sans serif font so they um they complement each other and contrast with each other it's the same with um, two of the last three fonts here and then the last font is a serif font so it was two serif fonts that I ended up choosing because they look, they look distinct enough to be able to tell each other apart which I liked and of course with them both being serif or sans, sans serif fonts um, they are easily easy to read and look nice on screen. So instructional design, I looked at a couple of instructional design models during my research and I selected the Addy model and I chose it because it allows me to fill in gaps like I can see what people know about pet welfare and fill in any gaps that they might not know and then tailor their experience on the site that they learn something new. So let's start the design the flow chart, which you can see here. It's just simple. It's a homepage. It leaves the dog and cat care, and it leaves the quizzes on each of them. I did a mock-up in um, Adobe Illustrator, which looks like this. Um, looks pretty basic, but um, it was what I based um, the rest of my website off. This next slide was meant to be an XD um, file, which I have open here. So I'll show you this. Um, if I can scroll up. Um, it was meant to be this. So you can see both a, um, a mobile and a um, desktop layer that I wanted my home page as well as that to look like which I replicated in my final, um, my final project, my final website I put. Now, if I want to the website development, I'll use HTML CSS to be able to create the website. Um, I use a creator from scratch using from I use CSS grids to layer the grids like um, it's kind of blurry, but you can see here the ungraded um, nature of the one of the um, content pages. And then this is the more version. So the dark quiz. And, um, this is the, um, and this is the code. In the second picture, the first picture is a layer of cat care, exact same um, CSS installed to make a grid and you see the scrollable um, bars include to be able to include more information in the boxes without needing to stretch the page too much, which I really thought was a good idea. Now, this is the um, better view of the mobile page. And you can see here is the code for the media query that is to do this the um, mobile page or similar things anyway. The testing I wasn't able to test it on people because I felt like with this kind of website you need to do it um, in real life and of course with current times I couldn't. So I felt like just testing as I went along making sure that everything worked. And I have everything was correct based on information that I had uh, that I didn't verified. That's the best way to go. Um, so in conclusion, I like working on the project in stages. Like the research was good. I learned a lot about a topic that 
wasn't really knowledgeable on and I learned about a lot of project management and what goes into it and how um, projects are meant to be managed and how much um, planning goes into a project of this scale and, and how to avoid pension football pitfalls and how to work around any roadblocks that may appear in the um, to, over the course of uh, creating a project, these are the references for an overview of what Google Design is, an overview of what Swiss Design is, and that's my presentation.